Conrad wants my task! We've still got the same task! Get to level 19 League of Legends, episode 9. Wait, what? Conrad wants my task! Still the same as the last one! Ah, get to League of Legends episode! Fuck, I don't know what they were doing! Oh god, too many words! Oh yeah, so I get to level 19, episode 9. Whee! Someone's playing Darius. Oh my god. It's like we're on the same map with the same exact objective, with the same exact characters, with the same exact desire. To you know lose what I've noticed at League of Legends. Have we not been on the top side like the last four matches in a row? I was convinced when I was playing League when I was um, when I was first starting it. I'm convinced that if you're on the top side, you're going to lose. But if you're on the bottom side, you're going to win. Well, they actually did like a mathematical like breakdown that shows that you have like slightly more screen space. I think I remember right on the top, um, and so you actually have like a small percentage better chance of winning. There was also something that said like if you're um, on the blue team, you're hot, more likely to win, and if you're on the red team, on the red team, you're more overly aggressive because you see red all the time. So you you make different decisions but like act quickly blue you're more like analytical and like slow i i, I understand you what you're talking about decisions. like i understand what you're talking about with like the colors and things like that but it's just it's i don't know it's just a little off to me because i don't know if it applies here it's basically what i'm kind of questioning right now well i mean they this is people that have been doing like uh full-on research into this you know, League of Legends isn't exactly small anymore. So people have done All right, it. let us see. Every little advantage they can get in tournament. Let's see which let's one's better. Let's see who's better. Darius or Garen. Wow, that was the saddest thing I've ever seen. People just spinning around in the third pool, not even hitting each other. <laughs> there was no effort on that. Uh, yay, I'm spinning. Oh, oh god. god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! It's oh, happening! God. Oh, it's happening! I knew I this was you. gonna be a problem! Fuck, I should've I disconnected you. the goddamn phones! Should've done it! Uh, I am not at work, comrades. I, I, I swear to you, I'm in a very quiet space trying to record. Uh, this is, uh, this is not me. It, it's not, it's not my doing. Oh, so, what should we talk about today? <gasps> the fact that you, you guys got first blood? Amazing! I know, power plays. Anyway, actually, you know what? No, I'm a little pissed off at you. I'm gonna call you out because of what you did to me in the last episode. When I asked you the same question I'm gonna ask you now. So, Linux, why don't you talk about some of your girl problems that you've had in the past, especially dealing with Mary? I'm pissed off that you had to sit there and bring up Beth instead when I actually wanted you to talk about Mary. It's a much more entertaining story to me. It'll probably take a lot less time. No, Mary's a longer story. I don't That's believe the that. problem. So, alright, I'll try to say this as quickly as I can. No, right, no, so... no, make sure to give the details, how you well, met, what happened, and well, make sure like to bring up my... Beat. Oh, and make sure to also bring up my awesome ass bro moment where I brought the candle at the perfect fucking time. That's I'm gonna proud say, of that you, shit. That's what I was gonna say. This is gonna wind up being a legit hour long. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna have to kind of skip it and kind of get to the parts that matter. So, <laughs> quick ass rundown, because this is actually kind of a long story, much, much longer than the last one. Um, essentially, what Mary was was a girl that. Okay, come back another little bit. So, me and Rex worked at this bar in downtown where oh, we God, occasionally had times. to host, like, weddings and birthday parties and a whole assortment of crap, like, charities and things. And this specific one, if I remember correctly, I think it was a fundraiser or something because it was, they were just, there was, like, these two girls, they were just sitting there as, like, kind of, like, 
I don't even know what you would call it. They weren't really doing anything. They were kind of just sitting there. Just yeah, they, they were really just sitting it. there. And I think me and you were really, really bored that day because we had to do nothing for this party. We were getting paid to sit on our ass, which was awesome. So yeah, we I was like, hey, why don't, we go, why don't we go hit them up? And yeah, so, so we anyways... Were, so we called they out were, the girls before we went up to them, obviously. Yeah, they were they were actually there for something. I didn't tell them what the hell it was. They weren't doing much, just like we weren't doing anything. Um, but anyways, so yeah, we did our usual flirt and whatnot, and flirt and talk and thing. What little time we could talk to them because every once in a while, our boss or actually usually just our boss would just get on our ass about it, saying like, "Oh, you guys got to do your job. We got so much stuff to do. We got to, you know, clean the tile with toothbrushes." <laughs> True story. True story. I validate this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a whole different story about her in general. The boss that we had at the time was an absolute crazy, crazy bitch. But anyways, right, ignoring the crazy cut. Well, yeah, actually, so, not ignoring crazy cut. Yeah. So, anyways, so like I said, just getting to the part that matters here. So basically, we floated all night with them and stuff, whatever. Um, we got to a point where um, we got yelled at. They got yelled at. So we had to get split off and. So one went till there's like two rooms, two really big rooms in this venue, and one was in the original room that we were in. The other one went to the other room, and then me and uh, Rex, we kind of just rotated around to the room that we had to like supply them and stuff. And at one point, she was in the back room, which was kind of just where it was just a one party that night, so really they were using the original room. And the back room was more just for like them to take all their coats and things. It was like winter, I think, or fall. And um, so she wasn't really doing anything back there. The uh, the one and, so, and that was what Mary was, and uh, we'll just call her friend Taylor or something. So yeah, because her friend while, I we found out later on. Two of them. Yeah, her and friend I found out later on had a boyfriend. So I was like, well, I yeah. made the wrong pick. I was like, anything I could do to help you. So that's all yeah. I did from there on. So like I said, roughly speaking, flirted with her all night and stuff. There was this one moment where Vladimir thought he did the craziest, best thing ever, I guess, where she was oh, like, I did. Depressed oh, I did. I just, I was just talking to her and stuff, kind of got her into this topic about. It was like a bad topic or something like that, and so she was getting all sad and stuff. And then I got you know caught talking to her. So I had to like run off, like you know, like I was breaking out of a house or something like that. And so um, right as soon as I did that, I didn't really get to fix the situation and kind of like mend the, the sadness, I guess, whatever, put her back in better spirits. So within like literally two minutes of me leaving, Vladimir happens to walk back that way. Sees that she's all sad, leaves, comes back with a fucking candle and lights it. Lights it, <laughs> it and I say, and "What did you say?" And I say, quote, quote, And I'm gonna quote this. And I say, "Here, you look like you need some light in your life." And as I put the candle down, then a Linux comes back around the corner, and like she's like, "That's so sweet. You guys planned that." I was like, "Who the fuck are you?" <laughs> Look at that <laughs> I was just laughing. I'm like, what an idiot. I'm like, well, whatever. He, I guess he rectified the situation for me. I didn't do any work. But, um, so anyways, so long story short, I get her number, and so we find a date. Um, well, we talked a little bit on the phone and stuff, and then we find a date. So then we go on a date. First date was perfectly fine. Absolutely great. Normal. You know, you just go out, do your thing. We went to a place called, nah, like I said, we went. But we went to a nice place. <laughs> really. and we went to Pablo's del Mexican uh, Taco Bell King uh, Mick. That's where we went. <laughs> well, actually, it was a terrible place, but yeah. So, anyways, we went there, and it was fucking it was a dumb decision. But anyways, so we went there. Um, they had a long ass wait time, even though I had called ahead to get a time for it. It still was a long wait time to a call behind. So we had to just go walk around for like 30 minutes fucking freezing outside that's why i remember it was like winter or fall and so anyways we're sitting out there we're talking we're just kind of having a good old time in the park area with like the waterfall and some stuff in the city that we're in and so um uh you know i'm just doing my thing flirting talking whatnot come back eat food talk some more kind of get to know her a little better make some jokes here and there make her laugh good night awesome fantastic drop her off have a kid move on next have night comes. <laughs> so, so not next night necessarily it's just we we talked a little bit more on the phone um, she wants to see us, see me again. We're gonna have another date. So we plan for date two. Uh, didn't really have any where special she wanted to go or do anything special. She just basically wanted to meet up, and it was kind of a spur of the moment thing, really. So she's like, I, you know, I don't really mind. I kind of just want to walk around downtown. And, you know, if something pops up, we'll go do something. And if not, then we'll just talk and hang out. And I'm like, sure, fine, that's cool. So we go out, and um, yeah, let me tell you what Alex was really thinking. 
I don't have to pay any money? Yeah, that sounds great. Pretty much, yeah. No! <laughs> well, I mean, I still had to drive like 35, 40 minutes to the other side of the damn town. Yeah, but you also didn't have to fork out any more money on top of it. Yeah, exactly. So, and I didn't realize that until the first time I went to visit her, and I'm like, oh my, I didn't really use GPS. This is back in the day. And so, um, I just Google mapped it, worked my way over there, <laughs> eventually found her. <laughs> After I called her <laughs> But anyways, that was the first time. Oh, then I also had to be with mom. She's sitting at the door, and I had to, like, hang out with the dog for, like, two minutes. Moving on. Hang well, out I, with I, her I, dog. I was 20. Yeah, I had to hang out with the dog, because she still was getting ready. But that was the first night. So anyway, second night, she was already ready. She was really outside when I was pulling up. And I was like, damn, quick. I like this. It's like, drive up service. But anyway, so, um, so we go out in the second I'll night. Play. We're just going to go downtown, walk around, not really go anywhere specific. So <laughs> as we're walking around, we're just kind of walking in and out of stores. We go to like a little, uh, kind of like a coffee shop place, place you can just kind of hang out, get a drink, chill for a little bit. Go back outside, still freezing his balls outside. Um... <laughs> And, uh, I mean, it, it definitely was dead of winter now I'm thinking about it. Cause I remember my ass is cold, and I don't ever get cold. So, um, we get to a point later in the night. It's like, I would say roughly four-ish hours into this second date. It's probably close to one in the morning, maybe 12. And, um, yeah, I'd say probably 12. And so, we're just... Having a normal ass regular conversation. When I say normal ass regular, I mean I'm not even flirting. I'm not doing anything. I'm literally just. Cause I already did all the flirting and stuff earlier, and we already had our makeout session prior. And basically, yeah. at this point, we were kind of working our way back. Booty. Oh, oh, oh! Getting that booty. Sure. So, anyway, so we were coming back to the point where we were just kind of ending off the night, and I was, we were walking our way back to the car, which was like a good 45 minute walk away because we had just traveled all over the place. And so, um, we were about, we were walking back, or whatever, so, when we originally were at the makeout session. So, we're about <laughs> 15 minutes away from my car, towards the end of the park area, where we get back on the, uh, the main street, and start walking down to where I parked. And, I don't know, to this day, the fuck happened, but all I remember distinctly, like, if I could break it down as, as simply as I can, we're like, I don't know, 45 steps away from getting <laughs> back onto the main Matt, street. Matt, yeah, 45 we're like, steps. Combat, we're, we're it's 45 fucking steps, obvious, bro. Anyways, we're in obvious visual like presence of other people. We're we're, we're still definitely in public view. Um. And the only thing that's like separating us from everybody just seeing us is the fact that there is a. Uh, by the way, I want to point out real quick. This game is the complete ass opposite of the last. I game, know of what we are last one. Yeah, wrecking. I know. Uh, not me. I'm just talking to shooting. Them, but they are wrecking everyone. They. Um, what the fucker? I'm MVP. <laughs> sure, you. Whatever. Cool. I, don't, I, don't <laughs> mean, I just need things popping up, people dying. Anyway, and it's like all right, continue. Score at the top of the series. So, uh, four or hundred and fifty feet away. Yeah, so that was a 450 feet. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't know. But anyway, so. Steps. Fuck. Did I gonna kill him? No. Alright, so, um. Like I said, we're obviously in public view still. Luckily, it is late at night, but it's still people around. It was a Friday or something. Downtown Friday, 1 o'clock in the morning, nobody gives a shit. They're all still out there. There's at least hundreds of people down there. Um. Like I said, there's like a couple flights of stairs you gotta go up and then you're back onto the main road. Well, I kid you not, I wish I was making this up. We're in mid convers at least I'm in mid sentence of a conversation. And I don't know what the fuck happened, but she literally breaks down <laughs> start falling tears. Wailing <laughs> like a banshee. Out in the fucking middle of the like the sidewalk area that you walk on for the park, just freaking the fuck out. And I'm and I mean when I'm saying freaking the fuck, I mean she. If I can kind of reenact it, she's just well, you know she's talking. She's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it was it was like a flip of a switch. 
I, I was like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Immediately, my first reaction is, I fucked up, said something, did something wrong. <laughs> I, I, I don't fuck up. I gotta up. figure it out. I, 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 I fucked up. <laughs> and so then I immediately started apologizing. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know what I did. What did I do? I, my bad. I, you know, you good? What's happening? What, I don't know what the fuck's happening right now. So then she's still wailing, freaking out, crying, going back and shit. And I'm like, okay, um, I'm gonna back the fuck out of this a little bit because now I'm afraid people are gonna think I like raped her or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wish I was making that up, but that was a serious thing. I actually was like taking like three or four steps backwards. Oh and yeah, because you time. have no you have no witnesses to confirm otherwise. It's your word exactly. against hers. That's, that's the problem. It's one o'clock at night. We're two young people. She's bawling tears, wailing, freaking the fuck out, and I'm over here just. Just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and then everybody's gonna be like, this motherfucker kind of me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this looks pretty sketchy. So anyway, so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to like apologize to her, like I said. And, um, and so, she's just bawling for about a good total of, I don't I couldn't even time it, because everything was just slow motion, so I was in like a panic. But, um, I would say a, a roughly probably about two and a half minutes total. It wasn't long, but enough to give me a fucking heart attack. And so, <laughs> she's, um, she comes out of this bawling stage like nothing fucking happened. I mean, she literally comes out of it just like, like, okay, I'm good now, and just wipes away her tears, and, like, make, like, her face looks like she was in a train wreck, because she got makeup everywhere, and half her mascara is on her, like, shirt and stuff. And so she's, like, wiping away her tears, pull, like, pulls out, like, a napkin or whatever, it's, like, touching her face, fixing it, and she's just like, um, you know, it's fine, it's, I'm cool, it's good, and I'm like, the fuck do you mean you're good? <laughs> no, nobody just casually is walking and then just breaks down like their parents just died. Like, what the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? And then she gets all, like, defensive, like I'm accusing her of doing something wrong, and she's like, whoa, I don't know what you're getting on, but... I just had an emotional breakdown, and I don't need this right now. And I'm like, obviously you just had an emotional breakdown. I witnessed it. I need to know why you had an emotional breakdown. And she's like, I don't have the answer to you. It's not your problem. Don't worry about it. I'm like, don't, don't worry about the fact that I'm just trying to have a nice, good night, and you literally just reacted, like I said, like something dramatic happened in your life while we were just having a casual conversation. Nothing literally could have happened to cause you to have that experience unless it was something I said or I did. Because nothing externally happened. So clearly it either is related to me or it's because of me. So tell me what the hell's going on. And she's like it's not related to you. You didn't do anything. Don't worry about it. And I'm like <laughs> you bipolar bitch. What the hell is going on? And she's like getting all you know, anti and crazy, because now I just call her, like, bipolar, and she's slipping the fuck out. We get into a mini, like, five-minute fight, and I'm like, alright, fuck it, we're done. Okay, don't care anymore, this is over. Obviously, you're not gonna tell me, you're being hard-headed for no reason. I just need to know what the hell's going on, because I'm completely fucking lost right now. Or as I should say with this channel, I'm clueless. And <laughs> she was hey, like... Trademark yeah, hey. <laughs> And she was just like, it's, it's not a problem, don't worry about it, we're not gonna talk about it anymore, I'm fine, whatever, fuck it, let me just drop you off, go home, we're ending the night here, it's like, I didn't want to end on a bad note, but clearly, you don't want to be part of this conversation. So, go back to my car, complete total silence, I drive her ass home for 30 to 20 minutes, so it was like a 10 minute walk home, to the car, 20 minute drive to her house, drop her off, didn't have a kiss goodbye or anything like that, literally was like, I said to her, I got her out of the car, and I'm like, gentleman like, where her, open her door and shit, walked up to her door, and I was like, hey, I know we kind of ended up on a bad situation, but I just said, like, hey, I, you know, I still had a pretty good night up until the end there, I, mean, I hope we resolved this, um, is there anything you want to, you know, talk about before we, you know, leave tonight, and she was like, no, just don't worry about it, we'll talk later, and I'm like, alright, fine, sure, see ya, I was like, fuck it, if you don't want to talk, you don't want to talk, I don't care, I'm not gonna pester you on it, so, Obviously, she doesn't give me a text message for like, I don't know, maybe another three or four days. But I'll continue the conversation in the next episode. See you, comrades. Peace. Peace. <laughs>